and 60 miles inland from the current shore of Lake Ontario, huge sand dunes underlie an ancient pine woods, a unique island of rare plants surrounded by a sea of northern hardwood forest land. These dunes, far from any modern-day body of water capable of generating such enormous piles of sand, are part of an unusual formation called the Rome Sand Plains. This region, too, is a remnant of glacial Lake Iroquois. The position of these dunes, in relation to other local landscape features, indicates they were formed by powerful waves and westerly winds that spilled down from atop the glaciers. The winds picked up rock powder, residue from thousands of years of grinding away at stone surfaces by lobes of the ice sheet, then hurled it into piles along the edges of ice walls. There was little or no plant life near the lip of the ice sheet until long after the frozen mass retreated, leaving behind a desert of sand and cobblestones. Later, tundra-like conditions took hold as long dormant alpine plants began to emerge. Reindeer lichen, common in alpine regions, is found here. The sand plains host one of New York State's few inland stands of pitch pine, the conifer that more typically anchors maritime forests along the sandy back dunes of the Atlantic coast. These dunes are home to rare wild lupine, a fragile flowering plant that hosts the even rarer frosted elfin, a thumbnail-sized butterfly that feeds only on lupine plants. The frosted elfin, found nowhere else in New York State, is incapable of flying more than a few yards beyond the plant near which it was spawned. The sand plains border a broad basin to the south, the western end of the Mohawk River Valley. This channel was a major drainage route for meltwater flowing out of Lake Iroquois toward the sea by way of the Hudson River Valley. There's evidence that huge ice dams just east of the sand plains repeatedly collapsed with catastrophic effect downstream. All that remains is wildly meandering Wood Creek, ranging back and forth across the sandy landscape. From the air, Wood Creek bears a striking resemblance to barrier dune tidal creeks found in sandy wetland areas along ocean coastlines. There's no other inland stream in upstate New York quite like it. Wood Creek, a direct descendant of Ice Age melt-off, has a storied history. Native Americans, and later pre-colonial explorers, and still later early European settlers, used Wood Creek as their primary transportation route into the American wilderness. Shortly after the Revolutionary War, American industrialists attempted to improve navigation by cutting through meandering oxbows to create the Western Inland Canal, later replaced by the Erie Canal, and still later by today's New York State Barge Canal. The effect of those early canal construction efforts, completed more than 300 years ago, are still visible in satellite imagery. From space, the Rome sand plains still show sculpting from Ice Age meltwater roaring eastward. <laughs>